Hey, Dr. Kent DeLay here. So I want to talk about smoking and erectile dysfunction. So smoking is a frequent cause of a number of health problems, including cardiovascular disease, a number of cancers in the urinary system. These include the kidney, bladder, and prostate, as well as a number of cancers outside of the urinary system, including lung, pancreas. But I want to focus, like I said, on erections today. 14% of American men smoke cigarettes. So one might ask, why do cigarettes cause erectile dysfunction? There's really both a short-term answer and a long-term answer. The short-term answer is that nicotine and the substances in cigarette smoke are a vasoconstrictor, meaning they cause blood vessels to become constricted, meaning less blood flow goes through them. So this is exactly the opposite of what you want when you get an erection. Erection depends upon something called vasodilation, meaning the blood vessels open, allowing for more blood to go in. This is an essential part of the process of getting an erection. This is why medications like Viagra Cialis work. They aid in the process of vasodilation. Now, the long-term answer has to do with something called atherosclerosis. Once again, you need healthy blood vessels that can get plenty of blood into the penis to get a good erection. Cigarette smoking is a significant risk factor and cause for atherosclerosis, meaning the buildup of plaque in the arteries throughout the body, but in the arteries going to the penis, they become narrowed by plaque and this causes erectile dysfunction. So I often see patients in the clinic with erectile dysfunction who smoke cigarettes, especially for younger men. If they stop smoking, they may see significant improvement in their erections. If a man has smoked for many years and has significant atherosclerosis, they may not notice a significant improvement as the damage has been done. But regardless, men should know that cigarette smoking is a significant risk factor for erectile dysfunction. And especially for younger men, stopping smoking may reverse that process.